All righty, looks like we're back. Um, I'm Corporal Vuko. This is going to be the fifth, um, whatever, um, fifth episode. Obviously, you can tell I'm new at this. I am, uh, my Twitter bio says that I'm mentally crippled, so bear that in uh, mind if you're going to take any of my advice. I, uh, I went ahead and I, I, this is a book cover that I'm working on for when I eventually tell my story. I'm hoping that eventually to become this glorious uh, movie featuring uh, what life was like in the 19, you know, early 90s with uh, Z Cavarici and uh, uh, Louis Vuitton and uh, God, I'll, what else was some of this stuff? Oh, the floral print shirts. Oh, man. And, of course, featuring my noble chariot, as Corporal Bo calls it, my freedom wagon. Lots of good stories about, about that thing. But for now, let's go ahead and pick, um, pick up where we left off. So I was trying to decide how I wanted to get my lettering in. So my book's going to be Corporal Vuko, uh, Once Always, The Tale of a Marine NCO. Um, my little uh, alliteration here, or whatever the word is, is going to be, the, the, one of the scenes from Marine Corps is once a Marine, always a Marine. So once me before, always me after. Clever, huh? Is it clever or is that just the Indica talking? So in case you guys don't know this, uh, I am nine months past my suicide date and Cannabis Indica saved my life. And you could read my other thread for, for stuff like that. And um, I'm trying to change the way the VA treats patients with golf or illness. But we're here to paint and have a good time. So, not paint, chalk. That's what we're here to do. So, I was trying to decide what colors I wanted to use. And uh, I think like red and blue, they're not like opposite each other to color wheel, or maybe they are, but they're like, either way, they're, they're both colors that are kind of hard to differentiate. So I guess they'd be 60 degrees apart. I know I should be an engineer. So what is it, red, green, no, red, blue, and yellow. So then I thought, okay, what would be good with, with the red and this on, on the background for my lettering? I said, okay, well, yellow would be good. And I said, okay, well, to make the yellow pop, I want to kind of start it, not just start from the, um, from the blue and red in the background. What I want to do is I wanted to start, you know, from like a common color. So I, so I went with an orange, and then I'll just sort of make it look dark, dark and fading backward. Kind of like how I talked about here at the edge, how, you know, light is typically forward and dark is back. So, but remember, I'm an electrical engineer, not an artist. And I am going to, so, so I just went with a standard orange. If you have the same kit I do, then you'll probably see you have a bunch of flesh tones, but this is the orange. And what I went, what I had to do, and I did was I wanted to kind of establish my border and that's just because, um, uh, and this is nothing to do with golf for illness. Maybe it's a little OCD. Maybe it's like my little attention to detail. I know other people who kind of have like a cool little way where they just kind of, you know, they'll, they'll push the lines to the outside and just sort of naturally stop. And that's kind of cool too, but I'm just going to do it the, the reverse way. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know, just sort of like round my edges in here. Uh, then that way, um, well, I've, I, since I have uh, problems with attention, this will actually kind of help me uh, let me stay focused on what I'm doing. Now here, this is going to be an eagle globe and anchor on the flag, so don't want to cut that off too much. Oh, and the other thing is, I love Viva paper towels. No, they didn't pay me, but I use Viva. They're like, instead of paper towels, they're kind of like having paper cloths. So, uh, but yeah, hey, if you work for whatever company makes those, yeah, send me some free ones. I'll let you know what shelter I'm at. All right, so maybe that wasn't as funny as I wanted, but. All right, well, I have your towels around here somewhere. And here they are. So, if you press too hard on the chalk, you're gonna notice that it gets kind of dusty, and especially like if you have it up on an easel, you'll end up with a ton on the bottom. But, and it's okay to, to, to if some of it blends into the white, the darker colors, you probably wanna be a little careful like which direction you, uh, you blend it to. Like I know that this blue's coming down. Same thing with the gray. Well, then the reds, I don't want to smear it this way because that'll make a pink. But if you get some over there, it's not it's not a big deal. And we'll come back. We'll, we'll come to that later. But remember, the whites are never truly white, you know, because there's always other light reflecting on them and hitting them. So kind of important. 
All righty. Dude, dude, stop touching her. Come on, wait till after the show. Uh, sorry for this, they're on their uh, third date. You know what that means, so. Yep, you, you too. Got a couple of them out there. Okay, so the other thing, when, you, when you're living out of boxes in three, four different family members' house, it can be easy to lose stuff. So when you, when you, when you go, and eh, that a-hole, he didn't tell me that I need an eraser for this, don't feel that bad. But yeah, after you kind of dust off some of the chalk, uh, the eraser is kind of how I, you know, I make sure that I'll still have some of the other color blending in, which should still give me the reflective effect that I wanted, but it'll make it uh, more even and clean, you know, so anything that did smudge in here will be, I guess, more balanced. But the other thing is up here where I have my uh, O-N-C-E, so normally I'd use a, a, a they have erasers where they, you know, just like either at the end of a pencil or they have like a long stick type. <laughs> I didn't even notice I was doing that. Anyways. <laughs> All right, you see? I don't even have, to, even have to try. But anyways, here we go. Uh, I want to clean off my E, but when I, when I clean off my lettering, I still want, I want to keep some of the darker color on the outside to make it pop, because I want the light to look like it's coming forward. And uh, if this is, if I was used, if I was painting with acrylic, I like, uh, I never use black because like the pigment's so heavy and strong and usually um, your blacks are never truly black anyway. So what I like to do is I always like for this black here, I used a real black, but I probably would have made my own black and I would have used like the colors that I'm using in here specifically. So it's the, so the black's made out of the identical pigments. Now, does that really make a difference in real life to a professional artist? I don't know. I'm a former Marine. Alrighty. Alright, so I missed that a little bit. But. This is more of a skin flesh tone. Can you see the flesh tones in here? Yeah, sure I'll leave that a little closer. In case you uh, you skip through the earlier earlier video, I'm using this stuff. It's uh, just something I saw on Amazon. Derwent. They sound like they're maybe what is that? Like German or like this Norwegian. But uh, anyways, um, I think it's just normal made in China type crack crap but yeah, it's actually pretty decent. Maybe it's not made in China. Nope. Fabrique in Chine. All right, but at least they have pretty decent quality control. So, da 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 So I was looking for my yellow, and this is something I do a lot with golf for illness. Some people are like, well, you know, you sound normal, why don't you do more? Well, I spend most of my day walking back and forth, trying to remember what I forgot. Literally everything takes me 10 times longer but it's kind of hard to get across, which is why Congress passed a law that made golf for illness a presumptive illness, even though it took me five years, four and a half years after being sick to, I'm not gonna talk about the VA, they're horrible. VA healthcare is oxymoron, we're done with them. Okay, let's make our top part, the once part of once a marine pop. So let me go ahead and get my original yellow in here. And I'm hoping that the light I'm using in the background will reflect enough off this to really make it pop. And since it's chalk, I might come back in here with like a color pencil later. So, you know, technically, I guess that would make it mixed media, but whatever. I'm not gonna get all technical with you guys. So, oh yeah. So that story that I told you about the really popular drug dealer from Gurney that smacked his girlfriend and just, just so you, in case you don't know, the, the story does have a, 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 there is a lot more to the story about what happens afterward. But, um, we'll get into that later, but there's probably a lot of people that might sit there and think, you know, dude, uh, women that are, that are abused tend to seek out abusive relationships. And that's like, I don't know if that's a scientifically proven fact or anything, 
but I know I've heard the phrase a couple times. And um, why did I bring that up? I brought that up for a reason and I can't remember. It's probably gonna be this glorious point that would be rivaled only by the, the glory of my freedom wagon. But um, I'm sure I'll get back to it. So now in here, I'm gonna have, oh, the other thing is the, the mixture of my orange and, uh, my orange and uh, yellow are gonna be the base of my golden colors. So I'm not really sure how well the metallics is gonna come out here, but I, what, I, what, I, what I wanna do is to make it, to keep it more of the brassy look and, and so it doesn't blend into a skin tone, I'm gonna avoid using like the, the, the browns, so if you're into like painting, you probably know like ember, umbers and your, um, and like sienna types where they have more of like the brown feel. So I wanna keep it looking metallic and brass, so I'll probably, so I'll start with the, just my yellow and orange and then I'll probably try and, well, I'm gonna look it up online, but I'll probably just use like gray scales to try and make it pop between these two. And probably, you know, and I'll probably in the end, you probably notice like my shortest stick, Haha, <laughs> shortest stick is white. Oh geez, little racial humor and other humor. Yeah, see I'm really gonna get myself in trouble with all these uh, stereotypes. But anyways, um, I know one that's uh, like that, but I'm not, I'll tell you the, uh, the, this one time when I was in uh, a brothel in Japan, and there was a guy who's probably gonna be in a book. I'm not gonna say who it is. I'll probably just merge the story to another character. <laughs> but yeah, it was like uh, sitting there, you know, in a brothel and just kind of waiting for him. And all of a sudden uh, I start hearing a little yelling in the room. I'm like, damn, something's going on there. And like the, you know, they'll always have a woman there that's like in her 40s or 50s. She's like the head mama-san. Um, so like Mama-san is like Japanese for pimp, I think, but not that, not the bad kind of pimp, more of a motherly pimp. But anyways, she goes over to the room and then all of a sudden my buddy comes out, he's like pulling up his pants and he's grabbing his stuff. And it's like, and then I hear Mama-san go, you go, you go. And then I hear, I, I hear the lady from the room, room going, Tubuku, Tubuku. <laughs> So if you don't know what Buku is, you're just going to have to Google it because I'm going to keep this clean. <laughs> but yeah, that really happened. So anyways, let's, uh, let's paint. And yeah, if you're, uh, if you're under the age of 18 watching this, there's nothing, nothing that is not an adult topic in any of my videos. So just come back when you're older so you don't uh, screw yourself in the head. Yeah, I know. Some of you are going to eventually click that little... I am 18 button that you saw your parents click to get in my site because you know I know about all the good stuff but um but I'm but this time I'm gonna try and keep this video rolling just because I don't know how all the play stuff works but I guess you guys can pause it yourself but actually maybe I'll give it another pause because I forgot this thing is so hard to load but we, we got the, the once and I'll tell you what I'll let you guys go ahead and do the always right so you probably do the orange a little more oh you can't see what I'm doing can you so here's the always down here. So go ahead and get it in dark and then pick a color for your border. I don't know, like if you did a young version of yourself or like you and your mom or you and you know your daughter, if you're working together, together like that, then um, well, she should definitely have a headset listen to something else besides me. And um, wow, too many tangents. That's the golf or illness tangent thing I was telling you about. And yeah, that's been going on for four and a half years, five years, it has nothing to do with cannabis. It's kind of funny because when I go to the VA now, a lot of things, it's like, so So it's like, I'll tell them, it's like, so I've had these symptoms for four years. And they're like, well, it's it's because you're abusing cannabis. I'm like, you're telling me I've been sick for four years because I've been abusing cannabis for six months? I'm like, that's what you're telling me? And yeah, that's what the VA is like. And I got to stop talking about them because they burn me up so bad. Bad, bad, bad. And yeah, if you, uh, if you know of a way to get a study done, try and get a study for... Of all of the of all of the um, veterans that are 100% disabled, how many of them use the 3,000 a month they get from their VA compensation and pension to pay for like supplemental insurance or some other form of insurance because they want something other than VA healthcare? I think that would be a great study. But um, on that note, I am going to 
let you guys so I'm so while I'm away I'm gonna blend in my colors a little bit just because I want to kind of pick up the pace a little bit and since I'm chatting a lot uh, then uh, work with the A's get so get your yellows in the A's and then we come back uh, make sure your kids don't have your headphones on because I am going to fill you in on a little bit of one of my favorite manufacturers gold leaf all right so uh, back in a little bit and I understand if you're to go to sleep now or you're you and your honey just really need to start bumping fuzzies. Come back tomorrow. That's cool. We can wait. You know, chalk's still gonna be there. But if you have to go, if you have to go, Godspeed. Otherwise, be right back.